this is how you find the cost per ounce. So when you go to the grocery store and you're trying to compare prices between two different brands or two different sizes of containers, this is exactly what you do. So you want the cost per ounce. Remember that per is divide like miles per gallon. So when I say cost per ounce, it's cost divided by ounces. So what I need to do is compare the two. So can one, uh, it is $3.11 divided by uh, cost per ounce, we divide by the ounces, 16, and we use our calculator. We get 0.194 and some other decimals, these are the important ones, and we're going to round, and we only look at this single place right here. So the 4 tells us to keep the 9 the same, remember if it's a 5 or bigger we go up. So this ends up being 19 cents per ounce. Uh, you may also write it without a decimal and say 19 cents, but this is not what we're going to do here because it wants it in this form. Uh, can 2 was $5.94 for 24 ounces, again we're taking the cost per ounce. Cost goes up top, we divide by the ounces. 5.94 divided by 24 is 0.247. And there's a five after that seven, but that five does not matter. We only look at this place right here. Since that's bigger than five, we're gonna go up. So that's 0 0.25, 0 0.25 which means it is 25 cents per ounce. So can one is 19 cents per ounce, and can two is 25 cents per ounce. Can one is cheaper. So uh, in this box we put 0.19, in this box we put 0.25, and we know that the first can costs less per ounce.